Whoa, he just clipped that. What you just saw, I videotaped after following the Osprey away from Oxford Lagoon into Marina del Rey. I think it highlights the need for trying to keep in place natural perches and fishing areas for this special bird, which it had until the county supervisor, Don Kanabi, and his county public works staff ignored this fishing hawk and defied the express request from the public and members of both the California Department of Fish and Wildlife and the California Coastal Commission. Instead, the county destroyed the only high natural perch of this osprey at Oxford Lagoon. Ironically, a county designated bird sanctuary. This is the osprey that the county denied and then destroyed its high eucalyptus tree perch. The public rallied to request the tree remain, but the county ignored everyone and continued with its destruction. Here's the osprey working Oxford Lagoon. Got a fish again. It looked like. Maybe not. Maybe so. Follow him. Follow him if only with your eyes. Hear him? Wow. Wow. Maybe not. He's on the bank. There's an osprey that uses it. Last year there was an osprey that was shot and killed in the marina. Fish and Game put out uh, an, a reward and they did an investigation to find out who it was. Bottom line was they couldn't find out but the the idea in the newspapers was that there were cranky people with boats with masks with their shit all over their boat, okay? Problems. They also peck on things. So to take away the very perches that yeah. this bird, which we've already documented, the county knows, comes in and sits on these trees to feed. So to leave this in the ideal situation that it is, with the water, with the trees, for the bird to come over here and use this as its habitat rather than the marina, is a good thing. You take away the public nuisance. You take away the shooting, the potential death of this bird. And that's what we're trying to save here. They're very rare in this area. Um, I don't even think there's any known nesting um, birds here. Um, we're trying to reintroduce them to the Channel Island. Um, 
if you could please help us, the, the county of Los Angeles is cutting down 650 trees at this bird sanctuary, every, almost every single tree to restore it. And we need to leave a couple of trees left for these birds to use. This osprey has been using this, this place regularly. They get, it flies way up. They're very tall trees. It can fly way up to get away from the noise. And the answer we've been given is like, oh, it's okay. They'll find somewhere else. They can go fly somewhere else. They'll find a place. Well, the place they, this is a very unusual place. It has a lot of boats with tall masts. And um, the bird, the boaters complain when the birds fly over there, sit up there, and drop the droppings on the boat. And there was one shot uh, recently, last year or two, found dead, um, shot after a lot of complaints from the boaters. So it's really important to save one little section, three trees from nature. This is the tree Kathy was discussing that that they are intending to go in and leave the non-native trees there and actually work around the drip line that is there. So like that, and this is what is left there now, today. So we are asking you to please ask, as Fish and Wildlife is now asking the county to keep these trees in place and alive. Because the fish and game understands now, as they did at Bolsa Chica, they now ask for the eucalyptus trees to remain because they acknowledge the fact that they are such um, special habitat support for the wildlife that uses them. And in this particular instance, we have the monarch wintering butterflies. It is a new discovery. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I have an issue to permit. Do we have any authority to suspend it or, or do we put one of a stop work order uh, to prevent any further environmental damage? Well, John Kearns, representing uh, Los Angeles County Public Works and the assistant deputy director there. Uh, um, the project, as you know, is primarily a flood control uh, project. And I'm just pleased to let you know that the project is moving ahead as planned and approved by your commission, by the Army Corps of Engineers, and the uh, California Fish and Wildlife Department. Uh, we've removed 95% of the trees thus far, and we continue working on them, and we anticipate that that will be completed by the end of the month. We heard team that no threatened or endangered species listed by the California Department of Fish and Wildlife as species of concern have been observed on site during construction activities. We have, however, observed other species included in the California Department of Fish and Wildlife's special animals list, and those are being provided to the state um, as voluntary reports. We're also aware of the presence of the migrating monarch, uh, monarch butterflies at the site, and several of, and then that's been well documented uh, back to 2010 in our entomological studies. Um, at the bio, biologist recommendations, we've suspended work around the eucalyptus trees due to the uh, monarch butterfly activity until they migrate and move on. And then we'll commence with the uh, removal what of those trees. What about that migration? Yes, thank you. Um, mm -hmm. I think we all appreciate the position you're in, and you're trying to do a restoration, which is a good thing. But I would just ask, and I think you're, you're well within your rights to do what you're doing, but I would just ask that if you do observe, let's say the osprey, which we've now seen quite a few pictures and films of that he's there, that if there's a way to keep that tree that doesn't disturb the overall project, that we do so. You know, it, it's kind of just, just because we can doesn't mean we should. So I thought maybe, because now 95% of the trees are gone, perhaps these trees, even though they're not native, they're still very important trees to the animal life who didn't really know where they came from. Yes. So if there is a way to save these trees, let's do it. You know? And it's just because we should. 
not just because we can. We'll Yay. take care of that. Thank you. And I might okay. mention Woo. that yesterday, which I failed to um, um, say, the in addition to the monarch butterflies, there was no osprey on the site. Not He's an infrequent visitor. Well, there was no osprey. The county's baseless claims fly in the face of the documentation done by the public. Even the day of the California Coastal Commission hearing, when I returned to the lagoon, the county's biological monitor told me that she had watched an osprey feeding at Oxford Lagoon that morning. This image shows yet another day's use of the eucalyptus tree by an osprey. These majestic and giving trees are now gone. The county's winter holiday destruction provided no mercy or common sense toward wildlife protection. Instead, the county has gambled on all the wildlife's desire to return to Oxford Lagoon and has relegated Osprey to high perches that are either dangerous power poles with electrical wiring or nuisance perches atop sailboats where it is highly possible they will be harmed or shot. Whoa, whoa, clip that. just clip that. Since the Oxford project is using public bond money, the county should at least mitigate for what has been destroyed for Osprey. We ask the Prop 84 public funds be used to immediately set up a safe artificial high perch for the Osprey as is seen in these photos of perches made for Osprey.